is nothing other than genocide. And I say loudly and clearly, this is not anti-Semitism. As I see the crowd in front of us, there are hundreds of Orthodox rabbis, thousands of Jewish people. These are our brethren. These are our brethren. They are the real followers of Moses. But uh, you and others told me um, about some, some click that's taken it. Annie, firstly, I think it's self-evident with anybody who has a sincere heart and positive IQ that it's pretty obvious. It's a political protest. It's not a theological class. And you have 400,000 people, the largest protest in the history of um, uh, America, pro-Palestine. And alhamdulillah, I'm very grateful to Allah, one of the few clerics invited. And you have to preach and speak to an audience that is composed of diverse groups of people. I honestly have no explanation to do. If you really are going to read in what some of the brothers have read in, I, 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 I honestly think it shows more about your mentality than what I said, to be brutally honest. In the end of the day, we thank Allah, we mobilized, we spoke, you know, uh, people's uh, perceptions changed. Yesterday in Cincinnati, three or four non-Muslims came to my talk because they saw my speech online and they heard I was coming. And one of them was of a Jewish background. You can ask this on the video. And he said, I'm a person from a Jewish background. You know, I want to know how can I help the Palestinian cause? Mm. Now, I'm sorry, and I, I don't like being blunt. These guys that are just nitpicking and fault finding and tabdi and kafir and zindiq, what have you done other than kick everybody else off and make everybody else proud? We are doing things. We are, the people are getting bombed in Gaza and all you're interested in is mahin is a zindiq. I'm sorry. We just have to move on. Right, right. And just and be mature about it. Some people, may Allah guide them. If they're sincere, they will be guided eventually. And if they're insincere, they have bigger problems to deal with. That's why I left that world because I really found that uh, certain groups of people, they just create drama for the sake of drama. And I don't feel the need to denigrate myself, waste my time. It doesn't affect me or my da'wah or the impact that I have with these people. I ask Allah for ikhlas. If I make a genuine mistake, it should be clarified. I don't think I made a mistake. It was wording that was political. Yeah. It's understood. Yeah, my talks on the salvation being only in Islam is as crystal clear as day. In fact, if you remember, um, I gave a, a talk that went viral last year about the red lines. Yep. And I very clearly explained in the deen in the law of Islam. Right? It's very, there is no two. Now, in a political context, we want to motivate people of a Jewish background to give up Zionism. We have to motivate them. And we say, these are our brethren, meaning in the cause of Palestine. Do you really think I meant these are brethren in Jannah? I mean, come on. I don't even need to explain Wallahi, to be honest, you know? Right. It's very clear there were Orthodox rabbis standing in the audience. On a Saturday, they walked to the protest because it's Saturday. Yeah. They walked to the protest to show us that they are in solidarity with the people of Gaza. How, and there were hundreds of them dressed in their you know, garb yeah. and whatnot. How can I not praise them? Yep. That wasn't planned because I didn't know they'd be there. Right. So I impromptu. I agree as usual, if you want to read in an ambiguous meaning, you can. But there is nothing to apologize for in that context. It's no theological verdict. Right. I'm saying these are the real people that prefer the law of Moses over the nation of Israel. Yeah. Right? These are our brethren. We support them. Come on, you're going to problematize this. I'm sorry. What was it like uh, the, these are our brethren is being interpreted that, yeah, yeah. that they're in gender or something? I mean, come on. I, I just, I don't. Yeah. Like I said, we just have to let them be. Yeah. Let them be. Yeah. Uh, there's a saying in Arabic, I don't want to say all of it, but the caravan moves on and then dot, dot, dot. Right, just let it be. And well, it's like, no, honestly, wallahi, akhi, it has to be said here. Yeah, I, have, right. I have other things I need to do and I cannot just be worried about this group of people because honestly, they're in their own artificial bubble yeah. really it is yeah the world around them yeah. the people the masajid the conferences the impact the this is real yeah and these people find meaning amongst themselves online yeah but they don't have an impact in flesh and blood the, so actually that saying is in english too i think it's called let the dogs bark but the trains will leave the station yeah i mean it's, <laughs> it's I, I can't be bothered i have yeah, things i have to right. do i'm not going to be responding and that's why that's one of the main reasons i left social media it wasn't the best usage of my time. Well, there's an example of distraction you could cut out because a distraction. It right? was a distraction. I right. realized that for me, yep. it's actually a bigger distraction because I have to write and read and research and give khutbah and durus and speak to audiences. What's the faida of these people always 
And I'm never going to make them, by the way, never going to placate them. Because in their eyes, I'm already a kafir, zindir, mubtaid, bal mudil. Let them be. They are not judges. Allah is Malik al and Allah is Rabbul Alameen. Allah is the one who is going to judge. Let them judge. And I hope on the day of judgment, I will accrue as many hasanat as I can. I'll leave it at that, inshallah.